Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Sherry's Metaphysical Corner. I'm Sherry. Today's topic is on the heart chakra. And I'm going to be doing the next few episodes on the chakra centers. So today on the heart, the heart can pump blood to every cell in your body in less than 60 seconds. I thought that was amazing when I read that. I couldn't believe it. So I'm learning just like you. The heart is one of the hardest working organs in the body next to the liver. Since arteries carry oxygen rich blood away from the heart and veins carry oxygen depleted blood to the heart, some believe that veins appear blue because there's no oxygen, so the color of blood is blue. Well, let me just say that no, that's a false. Blood is always red. <laughs> Someone once asked me, why is the heart chakra green? Well, that's a good question. This color symbolizes harmony, creativity, health, abundance, and more importantly, nature. It's the combining of yellow, which is the soul color, and blue, which is spirit color. The heart chakra is the fourth primary center in the body out of seven in total. And there's actually more than that, but for all intents and purposes, there's seven that we work with. The heart is known as the Anahata, according to Hindu, Shakta, and Buddhist tantric traditions. The literal Sanskrit translation is unhurt, unstuck, or unbeaten, and is associated with balance, calm, and serenity. The heart chakra is also perfectly situated in the middle of the body, located at the center of the sternum, and balances both the world of matter, which is the lower three chakras, and that is the earthbound chakras. And then it's also the world of spirit, which is the upper three chakras. So in this particular method that I use, we are able to retrieve three pieces of information between the outer and the inner field of energy at this juncture. So we're talking about the heart today. So there's three pieces of information that we get. So with the left side of the heart chakra now, the left side field, that represents sadness, grief, loss, depression. The right side of the heart chakra now, that represents caretaking, over-accommodating, saying yes, meaning no. And lastly, the actual chakra itself. That representation is giving and receiving of love. So these patterns usually start at a young age. Somewhere in the field, we're going to get a timeline of where we find something that's stuck. But tuning forks can release the stuck incoherent frequencies, better known as static, and help bring balance or coherence back. Now, I don't think that I need to leave an image of what the heart looks like, and you all know that I'm an advocate for posters or images of some kind. I don't think we need to go that far, but today I do have an image of the chakra symbol of the heart. So I'm gonna leave you with that for a minute as we move on. So as we move along, here's some easy tips to help one open the heart center if you feel stuck. So here's one, get out in nature. You'll always feel better. Picture the color green in your mind's eye. Literally visualize a strong green light filling your heart or take full breaths while doing this and breathe it in, just breathe it in. The color green. It's awesome, it helps. So get in, or get into an easy routine of yoga. Practice forgiveness, this is big. And very important to forgive the self. The heart carries around enormous wounding. Forgiving the self as well as others is equally as important. So let me just say that again. Forgiving the self is as equally important as forgiving others. We're not perfect. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So you weren't the best parent, or you weren't the best friend, or you wronged someone along the way, or hurt someone along the way. We forget to do this, but we're not perfect. We have trials and tribulations and challenges that we go through. This 
earth plane that we live in is the sandbox for humans to learn. That's why we're here. So forgive the self. It's hugely impactive. You're carrying around a lot of stuff out here. Let it go. Now, I'm not going to get too deep here, but here are some heart signals of psychological and emotional attributes. So if the heart center is closed, these are possible characteristics. One, being withdrawn. Two, avoidance to socialize or social interactions. Three, being overly critical or of, other, or of others and yourself. Again, there's that self again. Uh, lacking empathy, feeling isolated. Now here is um, if the heart is too open. These are possible characteristics. One, being overly demanding of others, especially close family or partner. Two, extending yourself to fulfill other people's needs at the cost of your own balance. Three, tendency to feel like a victim. And four, losing sense of personal boundaries. That's big. So by working in this field with tuning forks, we actually help reduce the static tension and incoherence and help the body find its correct rhythm. I know I've mentioned this before. The body does not recognize its own noise being out of sync with itself until we set in motion a tuning fork in the field. So when we put one of these in the field, when we start working on you, it immediately hears the difference and it knows it's out of sync with itself somewhere and it starts to work on fixing that. So that's why this work is so beneficial. They're not doing all the work. It's just an assist. They're helping the body do the work. And it helps the body find its correct frequency rhythm for itself. The body was always meant to heal itself. And if we take care of it along the way or help when we need it, it's beneficial. If there's too much static in the field membrane around the body, it is going to interrupt the flow of energy to the organs, causing them to not work as efficiently as we need. And this creates dis-ease within the system. And it's for this reason my work is all about sound, vibration, and energy. This was actually one of the reasons I started these segments, the group webinars and the live gallery groups, to help more people take advantage of the benefits in biofield tuning. These are community-minded and are set in motion to help educate through experiencing holistic alternatives that are available. Otherwise, we would never hear about alternatives or learn anything about such things. So to learn more about the biofield tuning with the tuning forks and their benefits, go to my website, www.energyworkstudio.com, one S between work and studio. And that'll give you some more information as you get in. And you can certainly email me if you have questions at energy4522 at gmail.com. Well, we're nearing the close of this month's episode on the heart chakra with Tony Forks. So I'll bid you adieu for now. It is my t intention to help educate. So I hope that you find all of these segments, not just today's, any of the segments that I put out, informative, educational, and inspiring. So till next month, stay tuned, stay connected. Bye for now. <laughs>